who's going to win the race? It's Genevieve's Playhouse. <laughs> let's match up the trucks for the big car race. Hmm, let's start with this one. It's green and has the number 86 on it. And it's from the Hostile Takeover Bank Racing Team. Let's see if we can find the matching trailer. Let's see, here we go. Here's the green HTB trailer. It matches our green truck. So let's attach it and take a look at the race car inside. Whoa, cool. It's the Chick Hicks race car with lots of sponsors. He's an aggressive driver that used to cheat in the races, but nowadays he races much more friendly. So now that we got our first entrant to the race, let's load our trailer back and put it in line. Let's put it right over here, and then we can check out our next truck. And that's going to be this blue one over here, with the number 51. I really like this one. Let's see if we can find the matching trailer for it. How about this one over here? It looks blue. But wait a minute. This is light blue. We need a darker blue. Let's try a different one. Aha! Uh -huh. This must be it with the fabulous Hudson Hornet on it and the number 51 that matches our truck. That way we know it's the right one. So let's check out that car that's inside. I'll just unload the trailer here and we'll get a nice look. Ah, here we go. Here's the fabulous Hudson Hornet with his old fashioned classic stylings. This racer's been around for a while, but don't count him out, he's super fast. Now onto our next truck and race car. Oh, do you know who this is? This looks like Matt, the number 95 red tractor trailer. I'll bet all you guys at home already know what car races with this truck, but first we gotta find that trailer. Ah, here it is, the red trailer with the number 95 Lightning McQueen on it. Let's check him out. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Whoa, I think I hear Lightning ready to get out already. And here he is with his famous red paint job. This one looks really shiny. He must have a fresh coat of paint. Let's see how he does in the race today. I'll bet he's one of the favorites to win. See you later, Lightning. And now it's time to back up Mac and light him up with the rest of the truck so we can check out our next one. Which is going to be this truck over here. The orange number 92. What a cool looking truck. We're going to need to find the trailer for this one so we can check out that race car. I think it's this one over here because the orange matches our truck. But the race car looks like it's different colors from the truck. At least the 92's match, so we know we got the right one. So let's take a look inside so we can take a peek at this race car. Hey, look at that, guys. It's Murray Clutchburn. He's a famous racer who won gold in the 1984 Olympics. That was a long time ago, so let's see if he's still fast when he races today. Let's put him aside for now so we can back up this trailer and then check out the next race car. All right, now on to our next truck. This Dynaco tractor trailer that's light blue. I love the cool dinosaur emblem, but it doesn't have a number on it, so we're gonna have to go by color alone. And check it out, it's that light blue trailer from earlier. This is the one we need now. Let's attach it and check out that race car that's inside for this number 43 race team. Whoa guys, check out this one. It's the king number 43 with that huge spoiler on the back. This car is super fast and has won plenty of races before. And here comes the tank coat truck with the number 36 on the side. It's the color pink. So let's see if we can find that matching trailer for this truck. It looks like I have to reach way in the back to get it, but it's worth it because this is a cool looking trailer. This tank coat stuff is what the cars take when they have a tank ache. I wonder how it tastes. Blah, car medicine, probably really gross. Check it out guys, do you know who it is? It's Eugene Karbareski. He's a racer that's been around a long time. He was involved in a big wreck in the Cars movie, but he's okay and ready for the race today. Now we're down to our last two trucks and racers. Wow, look at this cool futuristic truck that's yellow. It has the Dynaco sponsor just like our number 43, but this one's a number 51. Let's find its match. And how about that? The trailer looks futuristic too. I really can't wait to see the racer inside this number 51 trailer. Oh, this one opens from the top. That's pretty cool. Here we go. Whoa, it's the number 51 Cruise. Did you know she can go up to 210 miles per hour? That's amazing. 
I wonder how she's gonna do in the race. She's gonna be really tough to beat. And finally, we're down to our last truck. This one right here. It's the number 79 and it's purple. I think this one's gonna be a really easy match because we're down to our last trailer. And it's right over here. Oh, look at this. It's sponsored by the retread tire deodorant that you just roll on. Don't leave home without it. Now let's open up this trailer and check out the car inside. It's gonna be the number 79 race car, Hall Ingus. He's the unknown in our race field, so we don't know how fast he is. But we're about to find that out in today's race. Now let's take a look at all of our racers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight racers. And after the race, the cars can line up on my car cell. Uh, don't you mean carousel? That's what I said. Car cell. Whatever you say, Mater. All right, here's our race launcher for our cars. All right, let's load up Lightning, Murray, and Cruz. Now for Chick Hicks, the fabulous Hudson Hornet, the King, Paul Ingus, and Eugene Karbareski. All right, now that our racers are set, it's time to prepare the launcher. Okay guys, three, two, one, go! Whoa, great race! Let's check out that instant replay to see which cars go the farthest. What a great race! Now let's take a look at that finishing order. And in last place is Chick Hicks. All those sponsors didn't help him win this one. Better luck next time, Chick. Unfortunately, last place doesn't get a spot on the carousel today. So we're gonna park Chick right here. And next up is the fabulous Hudson Hornet, who might be too old fashioned for today's race after he wound up in a big crash. So his seventh place finish is just gonna earn him a parking spot next to Chick. So our next finisher is Cruz's number 51 Dynaco race car, who wound up with a respectable sixth place finish. She's gonna earn the first spot on her carousel in the number six gondola. Let's load her on the ramp. Great racing, Cruz, we're proud of you. And our last car involved in that big wreck is the number 92 Murray Clutchburn, who wound up with a fifth place finish. Nice racing. So let's ride Murray right up here to the number five gondola and then load him on, great. And our next racer is the first race car to get through the race with no damage. It's the number 79 driven by Hall Ingus. This car wound up in fourth place, which is an excellent finish. So let's load him on his spot on the carousel. Nice work, Hall. Let's turn the carousel on for a minute to make room for our top three finishers. Once that number three gondola gets back to the starting place, we'll be ready for our next racer. There we go. And now our top three finishers are gonna get trophies. In third place is the pink number 36, driven by Eugene Karbareski. Let's put Eugene here on our ramp so we can present him with this trophy. Here it is, third place bronze. Nice racing. And now with an incredible second place finish, the number 43, the king. He's still got it. Right up here, king. Amazing driving. Here's your trophy, second place, silver. And now for our first place winning car, it's Lightning McQueen with an amazing victory. Let's roll him up the ramp to the carousel and stick him in the number one gondola. Here's your trophy, first place, gold. What a great win, Lightning. And now our racers get to have some fun on this cool carousel. Let's watch it spin. Cool racing, guys. You earned it. Dad gum. Watching this car sale sure is making me thirsty. I got you covered right here, Mater. I'll just lift this and add a big tank of water right here. How about you dive in? Don't mind if I do. Yeehaw! Whoa, cool. Mater changed colors. I always knew I had a split personality. Hey, I want to try. Sure thing, Lightning. Here you go. I'm always up for a good car wash. Here goes nothing. Geronimo! Geronimo! Wow, Lightning changed colors too. Hey, tell me what you think of my new paint job, Mater. 
You won't be mad if I call you Yeller, will you? <laughs> oh, PJ Masks, check out what I have for you. Oh no, it's Romeo. Quick, raise the security door. It's time to be a hero. Um, guys, wait. When danger threatens, the PJ Masks are ready to save the day. Amaya becomes... Owlet. Owlingwind. Connor becomes... Catboy. Super Cat Speed. And Greg becomes... Gecko. Super Gecko Muscles. Ah, uh, seriously guys, calm down. Fire Defensive Splats. I'm not here to be bad. I'm going in. Yeah! Wait, what did you say? I'm trying to say that I'm here to be good. Ugh, ugh. I brought you guys some presents. Presents? Yeah, it's almost Christmas. And even bad guys have to be good at Christmas. Well, it's definitely good that you're trying to be good, but you should be good all the time, not just some of the time. One step at a time, Catboy. Hey, check out what I got you guys. For Owlet, I got her a new red owl glider. You can just shake it, and then it's ready to race. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, Romeo. And I got something for you too, Gecko. Look, I got a green one for you, Gecko. And it's shaped like a lizard, your favorite animal. Watch how fast it goes. Oopsie. Wow, these are really cool things that you got Owlet and Gecko. Uh, I guess you didn't get me anything, considering the hundreds and hundreds of times I've stopped your evil plans. It hasn't been that many times. And besides, I did get you something. Follow me. Wait for us, Romeo. Come up here, Gecko. We can follow him in our new vehicles. Follow me, guys. Wahoo! Come on, Catboy. You can ride with me. Wait for us, Owlet. Ah, here we go. But where are the PJ Masks? I can't stop! Look out! Whoa, those are really fast. These are gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> wow, are you guys all right? Ugh. You're okay, but what do we run into? It's the PJ Mask Nighttime Adventure playset. And I got it so we can all play together. See, it even has a car for you. And me! <laughs> wow, that's so cool! Yeah, but we'll need help putting it together. Hey guys, we can help you put it together. Whoa, really? Sure, it'll be fun. And when we're done, you guys can race to see who's the fastest. Great idea. Can you guys at home help us build this awesome racetrack? Great, so let's check out what all it comes with. This playset has one, two tracks that connect together for side-by-side -side racing. There's some tricky sticky splats, a pop-up night ninja trap, and a sneaky drawbridge for shortcut hygiene. And to make the cars go, you just shake them, place them, and race them. And to top it all off, some of the pieces even glow in the dark. But that's enough talking, let's get building. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Here we go. Whoa, look at all those cool pieces we have to work with. The best place to start a racetrack is at the start-finish line. You can raise the gates here and press this button to send the cars off. But for now, we're gonna lower it and set it down here. Now we'll start by adding our first turn. It's got green glow strips so it glows in the dark. That'll be really cool. Now we'll complete the turn with this piece here. Great, now we've got a U-turn. The next part of the track is part D. And on this side, it's got a cool bumpy texture for the cars to run over. And after D comes E, our next piece on the track. And it's this green one with some sticky splats from Night Ninja. Let's attach it on our piece over here to start the next turn. Let's use this piece right here to loop it back around to the start finish line. All right, now let's snap it in place. We have one arch for over here and two smaller ones that go here and here. The track needs some supports to hold up the next level. One, two, three. 
we can place the ramp for the secret shortcut on these arches. When the track is ready, we'll add the bridge on top of this. But for now, let's add this part of the track with the glow strips. I think this is where Night Ninja pops up. It's kind of hard to get the pieces lined up. There we go. Hey, look at this piece. I'll bet this is where the sticky splats go. I hope they don't cause the racers too much trouble. All right, now it's time for the bridge piece. Let's stick that right here. And snap it on like this. And finally, the last piece of the circuit, this hill going down to the start finish line. Now that the track is done, let's start adding some accessories. This cheeky Luna girl goes right here. And there's even more bad guy mayhem with Night Ninja. If one of our racers triggers this trap button, Night Ninja pops up. So let's put our Night Ninja flag here to warn our racers about the danger ahead. But don't worry, the good guys get their PJ Masks totem. Gecko's green emblem is gonna go on the bottom. And Catboy's blue cat emblem is gonna go in the middle. And now for the last one, Owlette's red owl emblem, which is gonna go on the top. Nice work building this cool totem. Now let's add it to the track. Cool. And take a look at this. It's a glowing arch that goes over the track here. Now we just need to add a few sticker obstacles and we'll be ready to race. Let's add a few lightning bolts over by the PJ Masks tower. A big one here. And two smaller ones over here. And here. And we need one, two, three, four, five sticky splats. All right, guys, now it's time to see who's the fastest PJ Masks. Or bad guy. Right, or bad guy. If you're gonna race with us, Romeo, you can't cheat like you did last time. Well, being good is really hard. But okay, I won't cheat. I hope you don't cheat, Romeo. All right, drivers, get in your cars. Super Gecko Muscles. Owl Wing Wind. Super Cat Speed. I'm gonna win. Our first race is gonna be between Owlette's red vehicle and Gecko's green one. So let's shake them and race them. Let's raise the gate and place the cars. Gecko on the inside and Owlette on the outside. And the winner's gonna be the first racer to complete four laps. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, check it out. Owlette's off to an early lead. But here comes Gecko under the bridge. They're neck and neck. Last lap, and Owlette's in the lead. Checkered flag, the race is over. And Owlette's our winner. Better luck next time, Gecko. So Owlette's going on to the winner's round in the final race. But first, we need to see who's gonna be the winner between Romeo and Catboy. So let's shake them and race them. All right, guys, this race is for four laps. And remember, Romeo, no cheating. Okay, I won't. Ready, set, go. Whoa, look at Catboy go! Turbo boost! Wait, what? Open sesame! Hey, Romeo's cheating! All right, I'm the fastest! Ha ha ha, I won! No way, you used a turbo boost and a shortcut. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did, Romeo. And here's the instant replay. Turbo boost! That means you're disqualified for not following the rules. Ah, man. And Catboy is our winner and gets to race Owlette in the final race for the championship. I can't wait to see who wins. All right, Catboy, you're gonna be on the inside. And Owlette, you're on the outside. All right, racers, this is a best of three championship. Whoever wins two races is our champion. Let's see who wins our first race. Ready, set, go! Owlette's in the lead, but Catboy's catching up fast. Whoa, look at him go! One lap to go and it looks like Catboy's gonna win it. And he does, great race! The winner of our first race was Catboy, but you need to win two to be the champion, so let's see who wins the next race. So let's shake and race! 
Whoa, it sounds like Catboy's ready to go. But so is Owlette. On your mark, get set, go. Whoa, look at Owlette go. She's got a big lead on Catboy. But who's gonna win? It's Owlette in a photo finish. Whoa, Owlette tied it up. So we need to go to a tiebreaker to see who's gonna be the champion. All right, guys, I hope you're ready for our championship race because this one's gonna be five laps. And we're gonna be doing it in the dark. All right, guys, turn on your lights. And here we go. Wow, look at them go. They're going so fast. Who's gonna be the winner? One lap to go. Checkered flag. Whoa, guys, the winner is Catboy. For the final result, Gecko gets third place, Owlette gets second, and for first place, it's Romeo. You mean Catboy. Sorry, Romeo, but cheaters never win. Aw, man. Great racing, Catboy, and good job winning the championship. Thanks for watching, guys.